you have a simple Hello World application and it's ready to deploy to production. How long will it take to organize and provision the production infrastructure, including ports and firewalls and that kind of stuff, to package and deploy the application to production, configure it and get it running live for the first time? And how long will it take to package and deploy a change to the website page content or layout? The answers may surprise you. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to create a new web application project. And I'm going to use the um, application insights to get the telemetry data. It's only available in a few regions, not available in uh, Australia at the moment. So I'll have to leave that with the East US setting. Let's give this a different name. Uh, we'll call this uh, Hello Mike Jones. And MVC, yep. I'll host it in the cloud. And I think that's it. Okay, so it's asking me for a resource group name. And I'm going to put it onto an uh, app service plan based in Australia Southeast, just because that's where I am. And OK. And we're good to go. But before we create uh, the application, I want to go to Azure Portal and show you that there are no uh, app services uh, set up. Yeah, so there's nothing uh, pre-configured pre or set up at the moment. Let's go back and create our application. So this will take a few seconds to create the project inside of Visual Studio. But it's also deploying um, or provisioning the infrastructure as well in Azure. Right? Okay, so the project's done. Oh, uh, application insights is being added. Okay, so that's taking a few more seconds to get application insights uh, installed. Now, usually should it should uh, complete this fairly quickly okay well, that looks like it's it's done um, and there's a dialog that pops up with the deployment window oh there it is okay cool so that's it we're done we've now got um, our hello world application inside Visual Studio um, let's just see if we go back to Azure and let me get that screen up okay and refresh. Ah, yes, I like. Uh, I I do like it when it works. Um, and let's go and have a look and see whether we can view our web application. Now we haven't uploaded the application to Azure yet, but it has provisioned all of the infrastructure. Ah, yes. Ah, so that was a uh, application. It's got today's uh, timestamp on it. So we've provisioned our infrastructure just in a few seconds as we created our Hello World application. That's pretty cool. So let's switch back to uh, Visual Studio and we'll publish the app to Azure. I don't think I need to change anything. Let's just publish. Okay, so it started a build, and that should only take a second. Yep, it's now uh, publishing up to Azure. Yep, there we go. So last time when I did this um, without uh, the application insights, it took about a minute. Um, let's see if this is going to be ready. I'm going to go across to the uh, browser. Let me get that back on screen. And we'll just refresh. Da! Right. Uh, well, uh, it won't be a demo without a server error. Um, actually, 
this time I knew we would get an error because the little icon at the bottom of the screen tells me that it is still uh, publishing some files uh, up to Azure. So it looks like this is going to take a little longer. So we'll just wait for um, as, uh, Visual Studio to finish publishing the files. Oh, there's another one just went up just then. So the reason that I wanted this uh, application is because the previous video I started to set up uh, Sonar Cube for uh, scanning the code quality of an application and I, I realized I don't have an application, not a, a demo application that I can actually scan. So uh, I wanted to set this um, project up so that I can create some uh, tests and uh, put the source code through Sonar Cube and uh, show you how SonarCube can uh, validate whether we've got uh, a good quality in our in our source code. So that's what's coming up in the next uh, few episodes. I haven't forgotten SonarCube. I, I do think it's uh, a worthwhile uh, investment in uh, having some extra tooling to validate the quality of your code uh, as you build it and incorporate that into your continuous uh, integration, continuous deployment pipeline. We're just coming up to two minutes, and I can see it's. Uh, uh, I was going to say deploy, but it's uh, actually uh, publishing is probably the right word. Um, it's publishing the Roslyn code analysis, um, which I believe will be part of Application Insights. So if uh, you don't have Application Insights, this will take a bit less time. But uh, the good news is you only need to do this once and we'll get some analytics in Azure straight away as soon as this gets published. Now uh, last time um, now in my previous video I had noticed that Azure was changing fairly quickly and you know the uh, the other thing I want to try and do with the videos is to keep them a lot shorter uh, now and, and perhaps try and release them a bit more frequently. Um, the previous video on uh, Sun and Cube, I actually discovered that the the screens, the UI in Azure, had actually changed between the time I started the recording and the time I finished the recordings. So I want to release these uh, videos more frequently if I can, and cut down on some of the editing. Yeah, this is our bootstraps just come up, so that's I think the last file to the deploy. Yes, come on, come on, let's get a uh, an application screen. Come on. Ah <laughs> yes! Ah, ah ah! I do like it when uh, when demos work. It's always uh, really. I've I've done this before, and um, there's certainly nothing new here, but it's still a a good feeling when uh, when you get something and it works. Okay, let's go back to Visual Studio, and update uh, one of the files. Let's update the uh, the home page, and we'll change the heading at the top. Let's just change this to say. Uh, Mike Jones Techno uh, and we'll change the next line and okay so when you do a update uh, it doesn't um, take as much time the first time you deploy it has to upload all of the files but updates can be published really quickly let's just see how long how long this is going to take let's just publish this now, and it's done. Ha <laughs> ah, ha! Ah, well, come on. Yes, yes. Ah, well, it's so so good, and uh, I I can even get this. Here it is on my my mobile phone. Um, building an application and publishing it in just uh, seconds, and um, nothing nothing new here. Uh, we've been able to do this for you know a good couple of years, but um, it is it is such a, a, a good. Uh, technology if you can actually uh, apply this uh, in your work. So let's go back to the slides and fill in these uh, blanks. Now the first time you deploy uh, the application is, is going to take longer. Now I've put in here um, 60 seconds. Uh, if you don't have application insights it is fast. Uh, with application insights it does take a little bit longer to get the telemetry data added to your project and to get those uh, analytic agents installed on the server so um, maybe two minutes uh, maybe three minutes to get application insights um, on top of the application but the the last one to to package and deploy deploy a change uh, that was one second 
um, and I've put uh, maybe a little cheeky here the, the people as zero because it didn't actually take me any time to do any of those things it was all automatic uh, and that's the key thing it, it did blow me away the first time I saw this um, you you don't have to configure anything um, Azure will automatically set up all of the configurations the firewalls the application configs and do all of that for you um, it really doesn't take any any time or people uh, effort to to get a site up and running so uh, thanks for watching um, I'll uh, use this application in my upcoming videos on Sonar Cube um, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll uh, see you next time before you go let's just take a quick look at application insights And there we go, it's automatically set up this application insights profile. It should be loading some metrics. Okay, so it doesn't have any data to show us just yet. Let's just click on this link to enable the data collection. Okay, it looks like we just had to switch it on even after it uh, got deployed. It wasn't uh, automatically automatically enabled by default. Okay, got a tick. Let's refresh. No data showing up on here yet. Let's go analytics. Ah, well, this is new. I've I've not seen this before. Wow, okay. Well, I think this is a whole other video just on on uh, application analytics. Cool, okay. Well, let's tune in and explore this some other time. Um, hope you've had fun. I'll uh, see you then. Bye.